It's been an amazing two months since the prize was announced. I've almost daily uh, been uh, receiving certainly lots and lots of email messages, but also letters, um, flowers, other kinds of gifts in the, in the mail. Um, I, I now know my FedEx delivery man by name because he knows that um, something special happened here. <laughs> and that's been extraordinary. It's been very, very exciting, very special. It's, uh, I think, a particularly difficult year for many people this year. And um, it's nice to have something to celebrate. I think we're all feeling very excited that we can celebrate fundamental science um, you know, we're at a moment I I right now when we're seeing the success of science with the coming vaccines for the, uh, the uh, coronavirus that I think are looking very promising. And that is r the result of fabulous, you know, fundamental science going actually back several decades. So it really does speak to the importance of investing in fundamental science. And that's really what CRISPR is all about, too. It's really about the joy of discovery. It's about two women who got together and started working on a bacterial immune system a few years ago, and the science that came from that partnership and how it led to an extraordinary technology for changing the code of life. And now, you know, there's very recent news that people that suffer from genetic diseases such as sickle cell disease, beta thalassemia, another blood disorder, have been cured of their disease using CRISPR-Cas9, which is based on the work that Emmanuel Charpentier and I did together with our students. And there's nothing more wonderful than that for scientists to know that our work is having a real world impact on people's lives. I think there's an incredible feeling that science is something to be celebrated. It's a, it's a, a, a wonderful endeavor of human beings. It's unique to, to humans as far as we know and it leads in unexpected directions. I think we're at a moment now when we need science more than ever. I think the Nobel Prize serves an important purpose in highlighting science and the scientists that do the work so that we can all celebrate those advances and recognize that science and technology play such an important role in our lives every day, but also in the broader opportunities uh, that these discoveries bring, whether it's economic opportunities, jobs, whether it's better health care, a better environment. These are all things that are you know, important to all people. And the Nobel Prize, I think, really does highlight science for the world. The Innovative Genomics Institute that I started a few years ago at the University of California, Berkeley and, and University of California, San Francisco, is a wonderful opportunity to take genome editing to the next level and to do it in particular with an eye towards the public good. Public access to technology is so important. I think as a scientist, it means the world to me to know not only that we can cure people of a disease like sickle cell disease, and of course in the future many other uh, genetic diseases, but, but also to make that technology available to everyone. To do that is going to require a lot of hard work, it's going to, re going to require more science, more technology, more development, and that's really where I want to focus my efforts in the coming years.